Hello and welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you a cheeky little DIY um, leader dispenser that I've sort of made up and been using for a little while now. Um, and I've showed a couple of people, or people have seen it and gone, oh, what's that? Um, and I've gone, oh, just where I keep my leaders. And they've gone, oh, that's clever, that is. So I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's nothing innovative. It's cheap, cheerful. I can guarantee. Whatever I'm going to show you, you probably have in your tackle box or you've thrown away. Um, you're going to think, next time I'll keep that and I'll be able to make this. So let's get into it and I'll show you all the stuff you'll need and how to set it up. So I think we need is in the tackle box. Put that back in. Um, a pair of scissors. Uh, splicing needle um, and your leader material and that is that so there we go that is everything um, for the leader dispenser so what we're going to do this is 10 meters so what we're going to do is make up as many leaders as we can out of this um, to start with so what I tend to do is pinch the end and then wing span it out so as far as my arms will stretch out side to side and then cut off and that will give me about six foot because as far as you stretch your arms out left and right generally is your your height so six foot now as a rule of thumb the best way to splice, if you take sort of a drop of your finger, so that sort of length as a rule of thumb, tip of your finger all the way down that way and back up, that will give you normally a very good and a very good strong splice. So what we're going to do is open up the latch of the splicing needle. I'm just going to use the hook just to get into the material a little bit like that and then just I sort of pinch with this the thumb and the index finger and hold the the material close together to get it to work it on the inside and then once you've got it in like that just take your time, making sure that it's all in and stays inside because you don't want it bursting out. If you have to start again, so what I tend to do as a general rule is take the whole length of that needle from the tip to the base. And that is a good indication that that is going to be a very tight, a very strong um, splice so push your needle out through the side of your leader material and open up your your gate a little bit hook onto the end so we've got it like that close the gate over and then bunch all this up towards the end and then with a little bit of twisting back and forth and bunching and twisting and bunching pulling it over you'll then start to pull that tag end back through and there we go and that's how that will look like that You've got one end of the loop that you can pull in and out, and that's obviously the one that goes back through, so which is this one. So, what I do is tend to pull it a little bit and keep pulling it and tighten it down until there you go, that tag end just disappears. Tighten it all down. What we can do is go to the tackle box, take a rig puller, loop it on. 
just pull it. I mean, you can use anything for this teaspoon, whatever, pull it through there, use that to pull it. You don't need a rig puller. But yeah, so what we're going to do is pull off as many lengths as we can of that. Splice either end, and then I'll show you what we do with the rest of it. Right, so I've got three done. Well, I've got four done, so but I've got three linked together. So I'm just going to show you how we link them together. So you take the splice end of two, you pass one through the loop, so it's like that. Take the top loop, find the other end of the splice leader, which is here. And then what we're going to do is pass that through that loop. So when we bring it all down, what we will have is that. So just a loop to loop, basically. Um, we're going to don't tighten it down too much because obviously we've got to get these undone when. Um, just a light little one. So that is how then all these become attached. So as you can see, there's a a loop there, a loop there. So you've got one, two, three, and the fourth one over here. So they're all linked together now. So I've got a massive, massive trail of them. And this isn't finished yet, but what I would do I know I have, I've got a tiny little bit left. There we go, that is finished. So that's all I've got left of that leader material. So what I'll do is I'll keep that for my solid PVA bags when I use short little leaders for them. Anyway, throw that to one side. Now that all the leader material has been used, we've now got an empty one of these. Now instead of throwing this away, what we're gonna do is find both ends of the leaders that are all put together, which is this end and this end. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call, make a huge lasso. So holding on to this, I'm just gonna pull all four leaders back through this loop. This is the easiest way to get it on. You, I've spent so much time trying to fiddle. And what we're going to do, we've just got that basically. Yeah, it just slides all the way through. And then what you do, because this is obviously the last lead that's ever going to come off here. You're just going to put that on there like that. And that sort of helps lock that in place. And what we're just going to do simply is just wrap all these leaders on here. Push these back on. Sort of little plastic covering loops and that just leave your tag end so next time you want to get a leader grab it pull it out until you get to the knot and you hear it just clang out and there's the uh, loop to loop and then undo that take a leader off jobs are good done so that's four leaders in there for me, six foot ones, but like I say, you can always, different ones, if you want some shorter ones, just make them short, or you can have a couple of these, just right on there, six foot leaders, three foot leaders, PVA leaders, whatever. Um, but that is a simple, simple way how to make a leader dispenser that fits straight in to your tackle box. Done.